Bristol's bespoke handmade bicycle show places many of the world's most beautiful and exclusive bikes into a hall space that's open to the public for a single weekend each year. The attendee list features everyone from legends in the game through to grassroots builders, and we pulled five of our favourite bikes from the show aside for your viewing pleasure. The Donda from Bristol-based Engineered Cycles is designed for crit and short road race competition, though this particular example is the personal bike of Engineered Cycles' own Adrian Ridley. The scandium tubing of Ridley's bike is painted in a gorgeous purple metallic colour, fading from dark to light purple, while lightning strikes and moody clouds surround the fork, top and down tubes. Donda is Flemish for thunder for those who aren't aware. Spec highlights include a Jira Ace 9100 group set, second generation MV 3.4 rims and MV's SES aero handlebar. As pictured, this build weighs approximately 7.1 kilos. Eric Ustland produces approximately 20 bikes per year and this custom all-road build is one of his finest to date. Many of its Jura Ace components, along with the sections of frame and the stem, have been hand engraved with a look reminiscent of an old shotgun. Estland only produces complete builds, with most totaling $3,000 to $7,000, though the final cost of this bike hasn't yet been calculated. Syfac, based in La Fouy, France, has been producing bikes for well over 100 years. The brand is best known for producing the majority of early alloy bikes for the Pro Peloton in the 60s and 70s, but nowadays it is primarily focused on making fully custom steel, alloy and carbon bikes. This petit randonneering machine was one of the most impressive at the show, with a level of integration that was unmatched. The true highlight of the bike is the fully integrated carbon mudguards, which flow seamlessly into the crown of the fork, with the guard stays bonded to the fillet brazed steel frame. While we dread to think of the consequences of damaging these guards, they're said to be incredibly strong and virtually silent when riding. The rest of the bike is riddled with more incredibly impressive custom details than we could begin to describe here, from the fully integrated dynamo lighting to the custom seat mast topper and funky cable routing. This is a truly remarkable machine. Syfac is distributed in the UK by Lifecycle UK, and the full bike, as pictured, would cost something in the region of €11,000. Better start saving. Slovenian David Krebs is a newcomer to Bespokes, and we were immediately drawn to this charming build he had on display. Built as a modern steel take on a spring classic build, it features paintwork inspired by the mighty Kremer Racing Porsche 935, with colour coordination stretching as far as the bike's shifters and chain. It's one of numerous builds he's produced in recent times, many of which feature other famous motorsport liveries. We'd be surprised if he didn't collect various awards on the custom bike show scene over the coming year. Curtis frontman Gary Woodhouse was on hand to talk us through this, the company's single pivot full suspension frame. It's a 160mm single pivot chassis with a 64.5 degree head angle and generous reach numbers up front. A staggering amount of brazing work has gone into this first generation design and, with Curtis being Curtis, it's all immaculately done too. Seat and top tube numbers can be customised to the millimetre and a plus size version may also be in the works. Pricing is still to be confirmed, but the company is ready to receive orders, says Woodhouse. Music